Hey, what's up guys? I'm Shubhanka from TechFriends Gadgets and Google Chrome is by far the most popular browser in the world. In this video, I'm going to tell you about some amazing Chrome features that will take your browser experience to the next level. So let's get started. If it is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any updates. First up is Chrome Duet. We all know that accessing the address bar, the menu button and the tabs button from the top bar in Google Chrome is very tough, especially in big screen smartphones. Now there's an amazing new UI in Google Chrome that you can enable to fix that problem. Just go to Chrome Flags by typing this in the address bar and you will be welcomed to Google Chrome Experimental Features page. This is where all the magic happens. Just search for Chrome Duet and they will find the Chrome Duet option. Just click on default and click on enabled. And now you need to relaunch your Google Chrome browser. You might need to relaunch your Chrome browser a couple of times if you see the changes. Now you will see that the entire top section has moved to the bottom. Here we will find the home button to go to the home screen, the share button to share this web page, the search button to Google your queries directly from the bottom without accessing the top search bar, the tab switcher at an easier position and the menu button that can be accessed very easily. This is the better Chrome user interface and more user friendly. You should definitely enable it. Google Chrome in Android has a new swipe gesture navigation that enables you to go forward and backward between pages using gestures. Again go to Chrome Flags and search for History Nav in the search bar and they will find History Navigation with Gesture. Click on it and click on Enabled. Now relaunch your Google Chrome a couple of times. Now you can just swipe right to go forward and swipe left to go backward. These intuitive gestures are very user friendly and you should definitely try it. Next up is Parallel Downloading. It happens that when sometimes we download a large file in Google Chrome, the download gets cancelled or it's pretty slow. Now here comes Parallel Downloading. Go to Chrome Flags and search for Parallel Download and then make sure Parallel Downloading is enabled. This enables Chrome to create parallel jobs to download a certain file. And next time we'll notice significantly better download speeds. Accessibility Tab Switcher. Now there's basically two kinds of tab switcher in Google Chrome for Android. Horizontal tab switcher and this one, vertical tab switcher. But someone who has a lot of tabs and can't manage them all, there's a very more functional and simple tab switcher that you can enable. Go to Chrome Flags and search for Accessibility Tab Switcher and they will find this option. Just enable it and relaunch your Chrome a couple of times. Now when you click on the tab switcher, you'll see a simple and functional drop down list that includes all your current tabs and you can click any one of them to go to that particular page. This is very functional and easy to use. Did you know you can change your search engine in Google Chrome for Android? For example, you can change your search engine from google.com to a more privacy focused search engine called DuckDuckGo. To do that, click on the three dot menu and go to settings and they will find search engine. Click on it and click on DuckDuckGo. Now all your queries will be sent to DuckDuckGo.com which is more privacy focused than Google.com. Well DuckDuckGo is not as feature rich as Google but the search engine values your privacy more than anything. Last but not the least use your Google Chrome browser as file manager. This sounds pretty cool right? Just type file SD card in the address bar and when you click on it, it will take you to internal storage. You can browse your files just like that. So guys, these are some of the hidden Chrome features that are worth using. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button below, do share this video with your friends and family and do subscribe to my channel. Until then, I'll see you again in my next video. Thanks for watching.